You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is a case of Rose versus Jefferson versus Power. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Rose, you are asking the court for DNA tests on two men. Your on-again, off-again boyfriend, Mr. Jefferson, and his good friend, Mr. Power, who is waiting outside of the courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. Both men, you say, could possibly be the father of your three-year-old son, Sire. Yes. Now, Ms. Rose, you're also suing Mr. Jefferson for $5,000 for defamation of character. You claim he's ruined your reputation at church, your job, and with your entire circle of friends. Absolutely. Now, Mr. Jefferson, you say you not only question the paternity of your three-year-old son, but you are also asking for the results of a DNA test on your two-year-old son, Zayden, as well. Yes, I am. You claim Ms. Rose is a known cheater uh, who has slept with your good friend and many others. Therefore, you doubt everything she says and does. Yes, I do. Now, Ms. Rose, why do you feel the defendant has doubts about you and your children. He definitely has um, a complex issue and constantly telling me that I'm so beautiful and he's not and he's jealous of me and thinks that he's gonna lose me and I'm constantly cheating on him and it's just insanity. That's a lot of doubt. So, Mr. Jefferson, why do you doubt paternity of both of these children? When we first got together, we were, we were dating several p different people besides... I was with other girls besides her, and she was with other guys besides me when we first got together. And every time we would break up, she would go right with my friend, Mike, Michael Powers. And when, when she first got pregnant, we were both seeing other people at the time. Okay. You know? So, so uh, non-committed relationship. Yes, very non-committed relationship at first. You know, I didn't commit really commit to her until I found out that she was pregnant. That's not true. Not true? No, my timing's a little bit different than that. Please? Yes. Fill the court in. Yes. It's more like <laughs> I met Michael first and was sleeping with him. We were kind of together, but not very serious. He fell in love with someone, moved on, and then I ended up with Kenneth. And His friend. But I didn't know they were friends at the time. Okay. That's the thing. But, yes, there, uh, there was a point where I was sleeping with both of them at the same time. Um... <sighs> And then later, probably that probably went on for a good month. And then I ended up, um, you know, getting more serious with him. What happened is actually I stopped seeing Michael and committed to Kenneth. And then I ended up finding out I was pregnant about two and a half weeks later. With Sire. With Sire. Yes, ma'am. So the moment of the day is that you've admitted that you were with both men for at least the span of a month's yes. time. And that's a secret that I held in me because it just felt like it's none of their business. It's, I'm, I, I, I'm single. I can sleep with who I want to sleep with. And how do you feel team. about this, Mr. Jefferson? Uh, insanely jealous. I mean, once I, once I committed to her and fell in love with her, my whole life was her. But uh, she's always been a very flirtatious person. She, she's a waitress and she likes, she has, to, she has to flirt when she's a waitress to get tips, and I understand that, but she... That's just my outgoing personality. No, but I, I don't I, have to I, I flirt to get that. tips. What is that? I understand that, but... I know, last time I heard, you just had to serve the table real well to get a good tip. But all right, all right, you know. I'll, okay, but I, I, I'm, I'll take it for what it's worth. I know okay, sometimes yeah, well, when people so, so, can lay it flirts, on a little thick for the tip. She flirts enough to outwork to where sometimes guys give her her number. You know, give her a number, says, call me and stuff. And, uh, and I'll take it. Yeah, and she'll but take the number. I don't use it. I throw it away. I mean, it's, you know, it's, I'm a people person. It's what I do. You have to admit, Ms. Rose, you were sleeping with a friend of his and kind of going back and forth. That would make any man or any woman a little bit jealous, a little bit crazy. Right, but this man takes it insane. Like, let me tell you about one time at work. I'm sitting there, like, working, hustling. I've got, like, five tables going, and a manager comes and asks me, um, is that your van out there? And, and is that your husband sitting in your van with your kids? I go out there, I'm like, are you okay? What's wrong? Why are you sitting here? And he's like, oh, you know, I know you're, you're gonna sleep with that bartender, he's married. And, yeah, I went back out there, I was like, please just leave. Like, the lady's gonna call the cops right now, I don't want the cops to come with my kids in the car. It's not cool anymore, just go home.
I'm fine. I'm working. So you're watching her interact with these customers? Yes. Did you see anything that would Honestly, no, I didn't you? see anything. But she preys on the fact that I am highly jealous, you know? And she does give me reasons to be jealous, you know? She will throw it in my face, oh, if you don't get your act together, I'm just going to call up Mike and get back with Mike because he's much bigger than you are, <laughs> you know? Let's but just you don't stop need to for be a like moment. Like Let's be honest. Have you ever said that to Mr. Jefferson? No, not, not specifically Mike. I, I, yes, I've said, I'm going to sleep with, you know, I'm going to do my own thing, you know? I just cannot take his tornado of jealousy anymore. Storming I, I through my death. life. I just want the truth. You know, I if they the say the truth, truth will set you free, and that's all I want, is I want my heart to be, to be safe. You well, know? unfortunately, we usually say that there are two sides to every truth. In this case, we've got the third side. I'd like to hear from Mr. Power. Jerome, could you please escort Mr. Power into the courtroom, please? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Hello, Mr. Power. Please stand right at the podium, please, next to Mr. Jefferson. Mr. Power, thank you for joining us today. Um, we have been having a discussion about Sire mm -hmm. and who could possibly be his father. And we have learned from Ms. Rose that she was, in fact, sleeping with you and Mr. Jefferson. You two are friends, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best friends. Best friends. Yeah. Around the same time. You believe that you potentially could be yeah. Sire's father. Without a doubt. Explain to the court why. And also, what are your doubts, if you have them? Uh, well, Your Honor, uh, I met Alicia at a bar. Um, Within two hours, we were back at her house having unprotected sex. Um, we hooked up multiple times. Some stuff you don't know, brother. Um, She's just a bad person. I, I, I just... Uh, that you keep sleeping with. That you, I, <laughs> you right? <laughs> it takes two, brother. It does. It, it does take, take two. two. It does take two. And, you know, I'm not saying that I'm innocent, you know? Um, But I feel real bad about this, and uh, there's... Do you really feel bad? I want to cry right now. I've betrayed my best friend, man. I'm looking at your face, and you look emotional. That's why I ask you, you really feel bad. Do I you feel really horrible. feel bad? Yeah. That's your best friend? 20 years. So what has this done to your relationship, Mr. Jefferson, with you and Ms. Rose? What, where are you two at? We're, we're kind of in a relationship. It's off and on, Rocky. You know? So the outcome of these tests is going to determine the future of your relationship and your family. How yeah. do you feel about it, Ms. Rose? I feel like um, it's going to change some things if he's not my son's father like I think he is. Well, since you admitted to sleeping with both of them in the same span of time, are you sure that he's the father of both children? Yes. Why are you sure I mean, that yes, Mr. There's Jefferson... A, there's a small possibility, but in my head, it's like a 15% possibility. Like... Oh, how'd you do that math? I don't know. <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> Let me get my pen. You said how much? 15. 15%. You got this, Jerome? 15%? I, I just, I know that my son is his. I, you know, the calculations, like, I'm a certified medical assistant, and I know that... What, when your period, you know, when you can get pregnant and, like, when you cannot. And I know, like, when everything was. She was All telling right. me the whole time, Your Honor, that I was the only possible father. The oh, whole time. That's so I don't know true. if she was telling him the same thing or what. I don't know. But I, I don't know Mr. if you that either. What are you hoping? Are you hoping that your sire's father? Mr. Power, what are you hoping? Are you hoping that your sire's father? I'm hoping he is, because I don't want to deal with her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. You all have lots of laughs and lots of jokes and lots of giggles, but I'm looking at two amazing young children, and I can say without even making my final ruling that they deserve better than this. This is not a joke. Absolutely. This is not a joke.
they always make fun of it. It's always so hilarious to them. You know? That's how we deal. With That's what no, they do. I, I understand that. And, and That's what they do. They, they every, it's everything is so funny, and I'm such a slut, and, and we all want to, you know, you poke are. fun at me. <laughs> Just how, I, whatever. No, finish, because I'm listening to you. They might not listen, they're, but I'm listening. They're immature, and they don't take things seriously, and they don't realize how this whole insecurity, jealousy thing has destroyed my life. Like, in my town where I live, from the grocery store to the church to everywhere I go, like, people know that this dude is going to trip on me. Like, can I tell you something that happened at church? Please can do. Can I tell you why I don't go to church with this guy no more? Please do. Because... The last time we went to church, he apparently went and sought the advice of, like, the elders at the church, telling them that he's concerned with these certain married men because he knows I have an eye for them, and I'm going to get with them, I'm going to sleep with them. So what, the, what these men did is they went to their wives. Next time I go to church, the wives come, about a group of, like, five, six women come, and they want to pray for me and my sluttiness problem <laughs> that I don't have. Didn't work. Because and and I, and I couldn't. I just like okay, I could now, not go back to that church. I wouldn't have tripped on anybody if she wouldn't have said, "Oh, so and so is hot. So and so at church is hot. That that's a real man there." It's, you know, she only Were says these things, those things to mess with my head. I'm not not. I, didn't, I don't remember oh, ever okay. saying anybody's hot. I just would like. I mean, I, I asked him. No, I that's asked a real him. Man. I yeah. asked him to. <laughs> I asked him to to seek their advice to help him. Learn how to be a man, how to, you know, get a job. Like, quit being so jealous. Like, you know, give and take a little, not just take, take from me. Okay. So, I, I want to get to your claim. You are suing Mr. Jefferson Correct. for defamation of character. Correct. How I, is he defaming you? He is throwing it out there in the neighborhood, in the community, that I'm a slut when I'm not. And saying that I'm going to, like, sleep with other people's men when I don't want to. I really only wanted him. And he, like, ruined that for me. You, now you seem emotional, finally. A bit emotional. What is it? Because everybody's standing here acting like nobody cares. I, I look care. over, I see two yeah, be I beautiful care. children. We both care. Oh, now we're caring now. Okay, good. I'm glad somebody's caring because everybody's been joking. Now, what is that that made you emotional in this moment? Just the thought of what this has done, what this jealousy and insecurity has done to me, to us, is and, not good. It's not good has for kids. It affected you. It has really torn me up really torn me up and like I don't even know what to do <laughs> like I I want to like give our family a chance and like he just can't trust me he can't let me so and he doesn't want... realize that when he does this to me it's it's ruining our relationship you can't have a good healthy marriage It'd with all this insecurity all and jealousy <laughs> you want mr. Jefferson to be a family with you and the children I want certain things to change but you want to yes. be with him. Yes. All day. This is the problem that I'm having with your defamation claim. Number one, if you have slept around with men and you live a lifestyle where you choose to sleep with whomever you want to sleep with, like you said, I'm single, I can do what I want to do, you can't then claim defamation of character if somebody then talks about that. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? I because do. a truth is a defense, even an ugly truth. You say your whole life has been ruined, but I haven't heard anything where you've lost a job or lost I almost something. lost the job. But I did couldn't you go to lose church the anymore. job? And like, basically, he just made a bad name for me in my town. Like that, and and I hear your point, and I respect it, but. What I'm saying is that this was so long ago, before we had children, before everything was so serious, why can't we just have a fresh slate? Why bring up the past so much for so many years and ruin our future over it? And I think that is really what your true claim is. And that's not awardable okay. through this court. Do you understand? Yes, I do. So for that I think it's worth a million dollars, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, since I'm wearing the robe, I'm going to make the judgment for the defendant in this case. But you can continue to feel like it's worth whatever you want to feel. Okay. Because at the end of the day, it's your life. It's your reputation. True. All right? I'm ready for the results. Me too. All right, Jerome, can you please hand me the first envelope, please? 
Love them. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Now these results pertain to Zayden and Mr. Jefferson. Thank you to DNA Diagnostics for preparing these results for the court. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. When it comes to baby Zayden Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson, you are the father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You seem pleased by that result. Yes, I'm very pleased. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Jerome, the next result, please. Now, these particular results, the next two I'll be reading, pertain to Sire, in which both of you are in question. So I will first read the result as it relates to Sire and Mr. Power. In the case of Rose versus Jefferson versus Power, when it comes to Sire, K. Jefferson, Mr. Power, you are not, thank you, the father. Thank God. <sighs> are you ready for the me. next result? Yes. Jerome, the last envelope, please. In the case of Rose versus Jefferson versus Power, when it comes to baby sire K. Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson. Yes. You are the father. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Oh That's all I wanted to know. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love my boys, and now it's all I wanted to know is the truth. Come here. Wonderful. I'm sorry. Wonderful. Now, Mr. Jefferson. Yes. Do not allow any insecurities or things that you feel maybe about yourself to ruin the opportunity that you have because what she's saying is my door is open if we can figure out how to get along better. But you two have got to understand that there are two children counting on you to get your acts together. In this situation, three is not a charm. No. Mr. Power, now that it's been determined that you are not the father, you got to take a step back and far back, so far back that you can't end up in her bed. Don't worry Do you about get that. It? <laughs> That's all done. Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. Court is adjourned. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. I realize that maybe I do need some counseling because I am very jealous. And I'll do whatever it takes to make this relationship work and make our family solid.